Hey everybody, it's Karen with Food and Family. We're making eggplant parmesan today. Look at all the eggplant that I've cooked up so far. I've got a few more to go, but I wanted to wait until I was here with you to tell you and show you what I did. I've got a few here that I'm taking out of the pan, and but I've got a couple more to put in. That's a lot of eggplant, isn't it? But you know, I'm making it up and I'm going to put it in the freezer. Now, you can go ahead and cook it or you can put it in and bake it off later. And I think that's what I'm going to do, except we're having one for dinner tonight. Okay, so I have my eggplant and you see how thick I cut, cut it. Um, that one's not exactly even, but I go between maybe half an inch to an inch thick. Now, I'm going to dip this in some flour. I'm gonna to try to use my fork so I don't mess my hands up too bad. And some flour, and I'm just using plain, I'm using self-rising. You can use plain, it doesn't matter. And I've got some eggs that I beat up here, and I, I did add a splash of water into the eggs. So, flour, eggs, and I'm using seasoned breadcrumbs right into the oil. I don't think you can see that one. I'll try to get it in your so you can see. But at, I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees. Now, what I'll do is I'll put this in my casserole dish, and I'm going to show you what I do. And then I'm going to put it in that oven and bake it off. I'm going to serve it with a side of pasta noodles. And I'm using my homemade pasta sauce, y'all. I canned some pasta sauce the other day. And I'm planning on making more. Didn't make as much as I wanted. I made a big batch, too. Or should I say as well? And, um, but it's so, so good. I've already used a little bit of it. Now look here, we're going to put this in here. Now I am done with all of this. So let's move all these pans, shall we? I'm just going to set them right back here. Out of our way. I've got some water on the stove that's heating up. And uh, I'm going to cook my pasta sauce in that. I'm sorry, my pasta, my spaghetti in that. And then I'm going to add some sauce to it. Pop's going to be a happy guy tonight. Let me, I'm sorry, I'm wiping up. I have spilt flour everywhere. So I wanted to wipe that up. So I am going to, I don't mean to keep turning my back on you. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm going to get these fried up and then we're going to put it together. Let's see. It doesn't take long. You just want it browned real good on each side because this is going to continue to cook in the oven. So well, while that's doing, let's get the rest of our ingredients We've got our pasta sauce. I've got some grated Parmesan. And, yes, I set out some mozzarella. Now, for my dinner tonight, I'm going to use one of my casserole dishes here. And I have some aluminum that I want to do up. And I'm going to put these in my freezer. I don't want to... Um, use my casserole dishes and put those in the freezer when I might need them later. And those I can just toss when I'm finished, right? Okay, so let's get our stuff here. Let's go ahead and open our pasta sauce. And I am going to, Lisa, thank you very much for the jar opener. Look, I'm going to use my jar opener, and that just popped right off. Thank you, Lisa. 
because sometimes I do struggle getting it open. So let's turn these over. Yes, see, and that's all you need. I don't have them. I've got my skillet here set at 350, and actually it's on like 375, and I'm just browning. While those are browning, we can be putting one together, can't we? Yeah, give me a second. Let me get this rearranged so y'all can see what I'm doing, and I'll be right back with you, okay? Oh my goodness, y'all, look at all this eggplant that we made. My goodness, that's going to be a lot of eggplant parmesan, isn't it? But I'm excited. I love eggplant parmesan. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I put it together. I've got my dish, and I told you I have my oven preheated to 400. Now I'm going to spray this dish just lightly just slightly and i'm gonna work try to work these eggplants into this dish like i want it to okay so i've got my grated parmesan i've got some mozzarella cheese i've got my homemade pasta sauce now y'all i do have this pasta sauce in um a video I made is chicken parmesan. I'm sorry. It was my lasagna. And I kind of tweaked this a little bit. I put a little more garlic and I put some fresh basil in it. And oh my goodness. I've got some planted in uh, my little garden. My little herb garden. And I thought that would just ramp it up even more and it was delicious to begin with okay so we're going to start with let's see how we can fit these in here i'm gonna i'm gonna layer let's see i think we can do this and let's see let's try this one yes and see what i've done now, what I want to do, I don't know if you can see me or not. Let me see if I can move down just a little bit so you can see. I hope you can. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of my pasta sauce on it. I don't want to drown it in sauce, y'all, because we're going to be baking this, and we're going to have another layer of sauce, and... What I didn't tell you, I forgot to tell you, is when I cut my eggplant up, I laid them out on a baking sheet, on a paper towel, and I salted them. So um, it draws out some of that moisture. So it will allow my eggplants to fry up beautifully. But I let them sit for, I don't know, it was close to an hour, I think it was. And then I took some dry paper towels and, you know, patted them, patted them dry. And um, so I forgot to tell you that. And I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of Parmesan cheese. I love Parmesan cheese. And we're going to put a little bit of mozzarella. I love mozzarella cheese. Not many cheese I don't like. I don't like blue cheese. Okay, then we're going to come back with another layer of, I'm trying to get the like sizes, y'all, of eggplant. Oh, I can't wait for dinner tonight. And I know Pop is going to be excited. Hey, loves pasta he is a big pasta whoa <laughs> big pasta fan that's a big jar y'all we're gonna put more sauce we're just gonna repeat that what we just did My pasta sauce has little diced tomatoes in it, and I just got a 
chunk of tomato on that one. That's going to be so good. We're going to sprinkle it some more pasta, uh, Parmesan and mozzarella. I'll put a little bit more on the top than I did in the middle because I like it and I can. Now this would be something good if you are taking a meal to someone, maybe someone that's sick or um, maybe someone that's just had a baby or, you know, anybody like that, an elderly person that you know that needs a meal. You can buy these little, the small aluminum, uh, shaped like a loaf, aluminum pans, and you could fix just enough, you know, if it's a, a single person by themselves, do that, take it to them. I'm sure they would appreciate it. Okay, so we've got that done. Now, I'm going to cover this with a sheet of aluminum foil. I don't want my cheese to burn. And I'm going to put this in that preheated oven, and I'm going to bake it for 30 minutes, 35 minutes or so. And I'll check it at around 30, and I might just take that... Um, foil off and you know what I want to show you something and I forgot before I put this foil on here I saw somebody else do this and I thought what a great idea with the cheese on there let's spray our foil I gotta get some more spray y'all I saw somebody else do this another youtuber and I thought what a wonderful idea I don't remember who it was and there, and hopefully that'll keep the cheese. You know how when you lift your foil off and the cheese is stuck to the foil? I hope that will solve that. So I'm just gonna continue making these, and I think what I'm gonna do is just, I've gotta go get another can of that. I think I'm just gonna put the rest of these together and put them in my freezer before I bake them off. And um, because the eggplant is pretty much cooked, it will continue cooking. And when I get ready for one, I can take it out of the freezer, put it right in the oven. And same temperature, but of course with it frozen, it's going to take it a little bit longer. Probably, I would say closer to 45 minutes or so, 50 minutes. Or I can let it defrost and bake it up from there. So I'm going to get these going. And I'm going to get this baked off. And I'll do my best to come back and show you what it looks like after we get it baked. See you soon, everybody. Y'all. Yeah. I have taken this eggplant parmesan out of the oven. Now look at here. Isn't that beautiful? And I sprinkled it with some of my dried parsley that I did. And I can't wait to dig into it. Pop's not here yet, but I'm going to go ahead and serve myself. Now, as I told you, I had the aluminum foil pans. And I actually made three of these. And... I snuck over to the neighbors and took one to them while I was waiting on this to bake. So they'll enjoy dinner for a night or two. Let's serve some. Pop will get his when he comes in. I can't wait to try this, y'all. Look at that layer. I am going to turn this around for you. Can you see down in there? Isn't that beautiful? So let's slide this out of the way. Now, I made some garlic toast. And all I had was regular white bread. I put a little butter on it. Of course, butter. And I put a little bit of garlic powder. I didn't put a whole lot. And just the tiniest bit of salt and pepper because I sprinkled a little bit of Parmesan, grated Parmesan on there. 
But isn't that a pretty piece of uh, garlic toast? So I'm going to have a piece of garlic toast. I like this one right here. It's real toasted up. Let's cut into this. Let me get my knife. I can't wait. Oh, it's so tender, y'all. And keeping it together and keeping that skin on just made it help make it stay together. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, and it's hot. Look at that perfect bite right there. It's got the sauce, the eggplant, and the cheese. Mmm, <laughs> y'all. Yeah. I am in heaven. No more going out for eggplant parmesan when I want it. This is so easy to make. Now, I'm going to have some in the freezer when I want it. I've got to have another bite. And um, I don't have to go out and pay the high price for it at a restaurant, right? So... I bought four eggplant. I made one, two, three, four dishes. And you see they're two stacked. And the last uh, pan that I did, I had some smaller ones left over. So the last pan actually has a few more because, you know, toward the end of it, they're real small. So I kind of like tucked them in on that last one. They were getting small slices. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Let's try a little bite of this bread before I go. Oh, and it's got that crunch to it. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all, excuse me, my rude manners. I'm getting it all over me. I just hope I'm not wearing it. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I'm so thrilled that you joined me in my kitchen today. And I look forward to our time together. I like having somebody with me when I cook. And y'all are just the best friends that I can have in here with me. So, but I hope you'll try this. I'm going to write up uh, the recipe and I'll have it in the description box below this video so you can look there for it. I hope you'll think about getting my cookbook and I'll have the link for it in the description box also. I'm working on book number two. Now this eggplant parmesan will go in number two. And I'm hoping I'll have it out in the fall. I'm shooting for the end of the year, but I'm hoping for the fall. And if you can, if you're in the area of, um, you know, Alabama and Columbiana, on May 4th, I'm going to be down there. It's a farmer's market and trade day. And I'm going to be there with a good friend of mine who's hosting this. She works for... Shelby County Water and Soil Conservation. Her name is Kim. Y'all have heard me talk about Kim. She helps me with the book. She does my editing. And uh, so if you can, I'll be there from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. So if you're in the area, I hope you'll come by and see me. But I appreciate each and every one of you. And I appreciate all the love and support that you've given me these last couple of months and all the prayers. They have certainly worked wonders. Thanks, everybody. I'll see you soon.